What's going on, family? Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Ball. But look, I have to give credit to where credit is due. And this past weekend, a masterclass took place just around marketing. Yes, Usher did his performance. He did his thing. But we're not even talking about Usher tonight, okay? I got to talk about Beyonce. I got to talk about Beyonce because of the masterclass of marketing display that she put on. We're going to dive into it in this episode of Beyond the Ball. So let's go ahead and get into it. Welcome to Beyond the Ball Podcast. All right, all right, all right, family. So look, so look, 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 look. I got to give credit to where credit is due. And I got to shout out Marty Woodard, okay? Because he was the inspiration behind this episode. And he gave me some content that I could really share and that I want to expound on a little bit deeper. So shout out to Marty Woodard, okay? Follow him on IG and everything like that. But kicking this thing off, we all know that leading up to the Super Bowl, everybody was excited because why? Usher Raymond was performing, right? U-S-H-E-R-R-A-Y-M. Oh, Wendy. So shout out to him because he wrapped up a residency in Vegas, right? And then he performs at the Super Bowl. As we know, the tour is now rolling out. So shout out to Usher for just piecing those two things together. But we're going to talk about Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to talk about Beyonce in a master class. So think about this. Think about somebody who drops music or drops a product whenever they want to. And then whenever they drop it, people go nuts. Let's elaborate a little bit. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is we see her, right? We see her with the visuals and she has like a country western type visual action going on, rocking the Louis Vuitton. And whenever we see Beyonce, people always are like, ah. Oh, Ah, oh, like they're seeing a great eclipse or something like that. But then just a couple of days ago, right? Not even too long ago, the Grammys took place. Did they not? And we know that Beyonce is the number one. The number one. One more time. The number one Grammy Award winner of all time. And shout out to the homie. Uh, Brittany Lucky, because she had to get me right on that. I wasn't even sure of that. And she was like, yeah, Jonathan, Beyonce has won more Grammys than anybody else. I was like, really? She was like, yeah, more Grammys than anybody else. And Beyonce is also the only artist who's done that, but yet she still has not received the Grammy for album of the year, which creates an issue. So how do we bring this to the forefront? Beyonce doesn't say it, right? I've never heard Beyonce say that. She might have said it before, but Jay-Z spoke on her behalf. And as Jay-Z was standing up in the booth, in the podium, at the Grammys, and he was thanking everybody, and you know he was really grateful, and he had Blue Ivy with him. And then he said, I can't take this time not to talk about how Beyonce, who has won all these Grammys, still has never won the Grammy for album of the year. And when you hear this, what happens? This is another part of the rollout. Why? Because this is building up momentum. You cannot tell me that Jay-Z and Beyonce and Blue Ivy were not sitting at the crib talking about, hmm, how are we going to shake them up this time? How are we going to shake the people up this go round? You can't tell me that they didn't put that together, at least to bring it up in some way, shape, or form. You can't, I wouldn't believe it. You can tell me, I wouldn't believe it. I'm sorry. I would not believe it. Okay. So then Jay Z brings that up. And then guess what? Then we also happen to see, oh, Beyonce announces that her new hair care company is rolling out. Y'all, I, I want us to pay attention. It's bit by bit by bit, right? It's kind of like when they're starting to do previews for a movie. They start like a year out. They give you like a snippet to get you excited. And then they come back and they give you a different preview. And then they start having these stars going on podcast interview circuits. And they're starting to begin to pick up that momentum. That's what Beyonce is doing here. And then... During 
the middle of the Super Bowl. During the middle of the Super, during the middle of the Super Bowl. And mind you, let's go a layer deeper. Let's go a layer deeper. This is during the middle of the Super Bowl that now has a whole new audience. Hello. They have a whole new audience. John, why does the Super Bowl currently have a whole new audience? The Super Bowl currently has a whole new audience because Taylor Swift is in the arena. So now there are a whole lot of young ladies who like Taylor Swift's music who now are tapping in to the Super Bowl just so they can say, oh, there goes Taylor. Oh, there's Travis. And they might enjoy watching the game. You know what I'm saying? So now we're bringing a whole nother population of people to this party, right? But let's go a little bit further. Then Beyonce is in a Verizon commercial. So mind you, mind you, okay? This is the era of where Super Bowl commercials, right? And we know Super Bowl commercials have been a thing for as long as Super Bowl has been going. And over the past few years, probably the past 10 years or so, the Super Bowl commercial price has grown and grown and climbed and climbed and climbed and climbed over time to where now, for one, some of these ads, y'all, I'm just not impressed. Some of these ads are trash. I'm like, God, this is so trash. Why are y'all even doing this on the Super Bowl? This is a terrible ad. Like, marketing team, throw them away. Like, they just throw them away. So then Beyonce happens to be in a Verizon commercial. But first, look, 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 look. First, let's talk about T-Mobile. T-Mobile put out a commercial, right? In T-Mobile's commercial, they're hiring all these people to sing and all these people to dance and talk about the benefits of T-Mobile. But then Verizon just says, let's get Beyonce. Yeah, let, let's, let's, let's just get Beyonce. So Beyonce's on the commercial and they're hinting at her being out of this world and her breaking the internet, right? And then what happens? And then Beyonce does what Beyonce does. And then she dropped a video teaser and two new songs simultaneously. She's not giving you the full album. She's just giving you a teaser and two new songs. Hmm. Why would she just give us a teaser and not give us the whole album? Well, for one, she may not be done with the whole album yet if she even has a new one that she wants to put out right now. But John, why are we talking about this? You're, this is beyond the ball. You're supposed to give us marketing strategies. You're supposed to be talking about entrepreneurship. You're supposed to be helping us build our authority, get more customers, generate more clients. So look, I'm going to shoot it to you straight. For one, if you don't have a rollout plan like this or a clear rollout strategy, you definitely can sign up for our free training, right? You can go to getpaywithpodcasting.com and you can learn how you can roll out a podcast because that's what we do. But now I want to just talk a little bit deeper and say, if you have never thought about a rollout strategy for your product, for your business, I want you just to think about this strategy that we broke down in this episode today and think about how can you capture the attention of the world? How can you get more eyes or how can you steal eyes from the current focus. People showed up to watch the Super Bowl. And Beyonce knew that they would show up to watch the Super Bowl. So she said, I'm going to go where I know people are already going to be. So now the question becomes, how can you, how can you steal the attention from where people are already going to be? Ooh, that's so good. Man, shout out to Beyonce because she understands marketing. We, have, we ain't seen Beyonce in a commercial for a while, but then she said, I got something now. So yeah, I'll do y'all's little commercial for Verizon. Come here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and roll out my, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and roll out the hair care line right now. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and give y'all this music that I've been sitting on. It's just like how so many people wait for Black Friday to roll it out, but everybody's rolling something out on Black Friday. Everybody is not rolling something out during the Super Bowl. 
at most people are rolling out a commercial so now with us seeing beyonce in the marketing mind that we see her the question for you now becomes how can you emulate the strategy and then apply it directly to your business directly to your business directly to your business like i said before family if you're not sure on what a rollout looks like for a product for a service to even roll out your authority so people see you as a thought leader and an expert. Y'all just go and hit that link in the description. Get paid with podcasting.com. And we look forward to seeing you in the training. But I want to hear your thoughts. Like, what were your thoughts on Beyonce's rollout? What were your thoughts on how she came about it? Because remember, Usher's performing at halftime, not Beyonce. But Beyonce still said, I got something for y'all though. Family, this has been another episode of Beyond the Ball. And today we broke down Beyonce's marketing, Beyonce's Super Bowl marketing campaign, right? Steal Beyonce's Super Bowl marketing campaign. I implore you, steal it. If you're able to, if you're able to take a piece of it, steal it. Because she put on a masterclass for marketing. Taylor Swift was in the arena. Taylor Swift ain't selling no music. Taylor Swift ain't promoting no music, but Beyonce was. Taylor, Taylor had more eyes on her throughout this whole season. But Beyonce said, oh, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till y'all put y'all guard down. I'm going to wait till there's the most eyes out there. I'm going to wait, and I'm going to capitalize just like that. Family, this has been another episode of Beyond the Ball where we ultimately break down marketing strategies and help you get positioned to where you can begin to grow your authority. You can generate more predictable income and get more clients. Okay. So family until next time, peace. God bless.